but like because I remember being a kid and never crying at anything. Like I could see any movie, I could see mm. my favorite character die and be sad. But I, I was reading an article, I think it was on Reddit. I uh, cried when I was a kid. I, I fucking I saw it follow that bird, the Sesame Street movie, and when he was captured, I fucking bawled. So I, I can't say that. I, I'll say the the <laughs> only time I cried before like eleven was um in the episode of Pokemon where uh where Ash lets Pikachu go. Yeah. That oh, was, that was sad. Because Pikachu it, they made it so he was like your friend and you really thought that he was letting him go to be happy. Um, so that part definitely got me, but I think as you get older, and this is this is what this article I saw on Reddit, it's like not necessarily as you get older, but people who who do cry at like sad parts or emotional yeah. things or like I get teared up and choked up during um, Oscar acceptance speeches because I have sure. because I can I I have I, I feel like I'm very good at sympathizing with how yeah. people feel yeah um and and because I try to I try to think how must this feel for you and I really try to put myself yeah. there. Yeah. So for me, I'm very sympathetic. So I I can like kind of not uh, not take on that emotion, but I can absorb that feeling, and I can feel it. And I think that as you get older, you start to understand that people are different, and you encounter different scenarios that make you cry or that make you emotional. Yeah. That like now you're in encountering that with somebody else. And you're seeing that, and you can read that, and you're like, "Oh man, yeah. I'm, I must be able to like, I, I, I feel what they must be feeling." So you can start to, like, that emotion comes up. Yeah. And so that's why for me, like, whenever I'm motivated to cry in a movie, or like, for instance, in in Lost, you yeah, know, the whole Jin and Sun thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, duh. Yeah, we should talk about that next. Like yeah. TV shit that has made you cry because because like, that fuck. I yeah. almost cried, but I didn't cry. Because I was just kind of like, man, that sucks that, like, you know, two of my favorite characters yeah, like this. Um, yeah. And, like, so stuff that really gets me is is big losses or or stuff yeah. that means a lot to somebody. Like, I, I almost started crying at the end of, uh, what's that Will Smith movie with his kid in it? Um, Pursuit of Happiness? Yeah. You what, just said that in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's been mentioned, like, multiple times the in Pursuit the chat. Of happiness? I never saw it. Is that something Not I need that, to see? I think it's a pretty good movie. I think you'd enjoy okay. it. Okay. Not even the bathroom scene. The the scene at the end, the little kid has the entire movie has had this doll, this Captain yeah. America doll. Yeah. He's holding the whole movie mm -hmm. and he drops it. And I was just like, I remember being a kid and losing my favorite toy. Yeah. And it, yeah. And, th and that was the same thing that, that hit me for the Toy Story 3 ending. I had, you know, I had a lot of toys when I was a kid and I yeah. had a lot of video games and I, I had plenty of stuff. I had five or six and I still have them, toys that I played with all the time yeah oh like the same five or six like if something happened to those now i would probably cry yeah like le legitimately cry yeah and so i i just remember that feeling of losing a toy that you liked i had these like toy guns that i went to yeah. um play with my brother in and we left them at the at, like some place that we went to yeah and i was like so bummed because i was i loved that like i had it made the sounds and it was like really cool so that really got me in that in that same place of like oh and you can see the kid. He's like, "Dad, my toy, my toy." And I'm like, "Fuck, I've been there. That yeah. feeling sucks." Yeah. So, like, for me, I always get really. Uh, I'm very empathetic, so I, I always get like emotional if I see somebody that, I, like, is in a bad state like that. That's that's when I get like hit pretty hard. Like, I think you know, Jin and Sun, whatever. But like, the Sawyer Juliet stuff. Yeah. That hit me way harder because I, you know, I I can feel that a little bit more. Um, or, or I've, I've always been more partial to, to Sawyer, but, um, but what were you going to say about, about uh, Lost? yeah, uh, in Lost, the hardest I was ever choked up or almost crying, whatever, uh, the last scene of course is very emotional. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when I initially watched it though, I was still trying to like piece it together. So part of me is choked up, but part of me is still trying to like. I'm still active trying to piece together what's happening. So, so you know, that that held back the tears, I guess. Right. Uh, but I watch it now and I get really choked up. Yeah. Uh, you know, just him hugging his dad and all that stuff. But sad? Yes. J okay, sorry, spoilers if you haven't seen it. Jen and son, yes. Sad. Yes. Oh, they pass. Sad. The hardest... I don't know why, because they're not even... Jin and Son aren't even my favorite characters right. in that show. There are characters I love so much more 
and 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 there, the emotion, the emotional stuff affects me. The hardest I bawled on that fucking show is in the finale. Everyone ha- has their flashback as they realize they remember. They remember their lives before they can let go. Yeah. And Jin and Son meet in the hospital. And that fucking moment where they do the ultrasound to see the baby. And then, did you see? And she sees the baby. And then they both see the... And they have a flashback to their life. And they're both crying as they're remembering. Yeah. I don't know why that scene fucking gets to me. Jin and Son are finally back together and laughing and crying about their lives together. And and the whole time they speak Korean. And then she... Uh, what's her name? Uh... Juliet goes, did you want to know if it's a boy or a girl? And they turn her and they go, it's a girl. Yeah. Oh, you speak wonderful English. And they're not even listening to her anymore. Yeah. They're just embracing each other and they leave. And that part gets me every time. Runner up in that in the finale is, come here, Blondie. Like when, when Sawyer and Juliet remember yeah. at the vending machine, that is like a dagger in the heart. Like, fuck. That, yeah. that gets me too. It, Especially because it had the bridge from yeah. when she uh, when she passes. I think. Yeah. What does she say to him? Let's. We can go Dutch. And they think she's fucking crazy. She's yeah. talking like, what is she saying? We yeah. can go Dutch. What is she saying? And then you want to go for coffee sometime? We can go Dutch. Like, like, yeah. It's that realization of I've died. Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. That's what that show was so good at in the finale. Is is. That realization, uh, that that <sighs> letting go. Yeah, that, th- that was the whole premise of the show. The was letting go. Oh, uh, I show. just realized we we're in the loss now. Yep, it it's gonna Fuck. be too oh, late no. at some point too. We got no. we got to stop. <laughs> no, that's off the table. We'll, we'll, we'll cut up. We'll They'll cut be out. closed by the time. We'll cut it out at hey, this point. Hey, seriously, you might as well open that. I know. Uh, I, I don't even have a camera. No, anyway, I was just gonna say that real quick. Uh, <laughs> I had one. And I took it home. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, anyway, no, I was just going to say oh, real quick. One over there. Oh, this is a strong one. Oh, fuck. I'm not <laughs> touching that again. The what? This is That's strong. the one I opened the fish with. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Might as well. Uh, no, but that realization of, 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 of realizing and, and, and letting go and going, it's okay. And making that transition to like, it's okay. I, I died and it's mm-hmm. no big deal. Yeah. It, it. But all this stuff happened in my life and I, let go. Yeah. Let go. You real- it, it, In the end. Does that matter? Mm-mm. No. And, and not only not only do you have to realize that in death, but just in your life, like you hold on to so much baggage. Mm-hmm. And that's what Lost was so good at is literally the person they fight at the end is their own literal baggage. It's someone from the past that it's all, you know, the, the show was physically and metaphorically about releasing your baggage, be done with that. But uh, anyway, so it was good at that and having those moments in the finale mm-hmm. was so good and they did such a great job at that. Uh, you know, and, 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 a, and a moment that is really affecting on a rewatch, the first time you watch it, you don't give a shit, but watching it again, a moment that is so emotional that no one remembers and no one, you know, whatever is now rewatching, knowing in the last season, knowing what the last season is, mm-hmm. knowing that it's that the, the flash sideways is actually the afterlife that the, it is a, it is a life. It, it, it's an afterlife in which they have long since passed or, or maybe just recently passed. Who knows? Either way, doesn't matter. It really doesn't. They tell you that, but the moment that is affecting is in the first flash sideways, they're on the plane and it gets turbulent. It's turbulent. And it's, and it's, Oh my gosh. And it's shaking and it's shaking and it's shaking. And what does Rose do? Rose, sorry. I'm going to touch you. Rose touch, grabs his arm. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And then he looks and he's grabbing her and she goes, you can let go now. And he, and he just, and he do, and and a lot of people pointed out that's probably when he died. Like he's laying on the ground. What happens in the finale? He lays on the ground. He hears the plane soar overhead. He sees the plane and he closes his eye. And that's it. And that's probably hmm. the moment he passed. You know what I mean? That first scene, it's shaking. Yeah. You know, and 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 it's and it's the first moment we see in the afterlife, and he's hanging on like what 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 what? And and she yeah. says, "You can let go now." And that mirrors what they say in the actual end of the show oh, that's interesting. it's it's a and to remember and to let go yeah is the last thing of the show and anyway so it's an emotional moment um but the king of all emotional moments in the show let's not beat around the bush fuck it 
fuck all that stuff that I just talked about. The number one, and nobody's going to argue with this at all, Desmond making the phone call. Oh, yeah. F- fuck any oh, other yeah. moment in that show. I yeah. knew you'd be there, Penny. Uh, I was waiting for you, Desmond. I knew, and I was going to call you. You're my constant, Penny. Yeah, I knew, Desmond, you there. Are you safe? Yeah. Oh, th- that phone call? I don't give a fuck how, how... Your heart could be ice. Yeah. That shit's melted by the end of that episode. That that oh. that scene is, is, to me, one of the best edited scenes that I've ever seen. Absolutely. Beat Completely. for beat, like you're just, you're so tense. You're like, you just want him yes. to make the call. You want Penny to answer the phone. You, you don't, don't want Desmond to die. You don't you want, exactly, Desmond. that's yeah. what I was about to say. You don't want Desmond to die. He's one of your favorite characters yeah. in the show. Yeah. And like this love that he has for Penny, you know, is so intense that it caused him shame to be yeah. gone for him to finally be man enough to give her a call yeah. instead of being a pussy anymore. And like understanding how he was being kept away from her because of all that shit yeah. after you've done watching the show. Man, they really just nailed it. Yeah. Everything they, about they that. They really scene. 